Now because many guests will, even when you put numerous options on an item, find a way to customize that item to meet their personal needs, let's also put a comment button on the screen. It's a good idea to put comment buttons on every screen um, and those will normally go on the main screen and on uh, the submenu screens which are at the last point where you customize an item. So we can click the comment button on the component palette and place that right here. So and let's title that comment. And then when we're entering the uh, the baked potato soup, the cup, or the bowl, we can click the comment button and the program will ask to have a comment entered on the ticket. Let's copy and paste this to the baked potato soup bowl, uh, I'm sorry, we are on the bowl screen, onto the cup screen. So we will select the comment button, which is already selected, press Control c to copy, press F9 to change to the run mode, go to baked potato soup cup, and then press F9 to enter the design mode and control V like Victor to paste that comment button. Now we have comment buttons on both the baked potato cup screen and the baked potato bowl screen. Let's also copy these buttons and place them on the soup of the day screen in case a customer wants to customize these things to their own taste. Control C to copy. F9 to change to the run mode. We'll go to the soup of the day cup screen. Press F9 to go to design. And control V to paste these buttons. On the soup of the day, the cheese, sour cream, bacon bits, and chives item are not normally included. So let's edit these buttons and take normally included off. Now we have a screen full of buttons that are not normally included. We need to copy these and we'll place them on the soup of the day bowl screen. So draw a selection box around all of them. Control C to copy. F9 to change to run mode. Go to soup of the day bowl. F9 to change to design mode. And then Control V to copy. I'm going through this pretty fast, but I think you'll find that as you're designing your menu, the F9 to change between run and design modes will become very automatic. You can remember which of the, of the run or design modes you want to use based upon what you want to do on this screen. The run mode is to navigate around in the menu to select a new spot to place a button. The design mode lets you put down a new button or edit an existing button, changing the way the menu works. To complete this section of the training, let's now go to the order entry program to see how all of our buttons work. We'll exit the menu designer, close point of success office manager, and go into the order entry program. Click new order to see our menu. Here you can see breadsticks and soup. Breadsticks is easy. It puts uh, an item onto the order. Soup, when we click this button, takes us down to the submenu level where our soup of the day and baked potato soup buttons are found. Clicking the baked potato soup cup button shows us the included items on this order. So if this customer did want, not want cheese or sour cream, you can click those buttons. They turn red to indicate that that item is excluded. And then on the order, you'll see no cheese and no sour cream. Clicking the comment button will display an enter comment window. You can type your comment. Say OK, and then the comment goes on to the order. Common use for the comment would be on this screen to say that the customer wanted these items uh, on the side. For example, cheese, sour cream, bacon bits, and chives on the side rather than putting them on the item on the order. We'll exit the order entry program and that concludes this section of the training for, uh, for soup of the day and baked potato soup under the submenu button.